Hey everybody, Rob Williams, Outer Rim Rookie. Welcome back. I'm at the Sawasan Terminal, waiting for the ferry to get to Victoria because I have a trip today. I'm heading to Victoria to do the Victoria Royals WHL hockey game, all for the big brothers and big sisters. And um, I've, I'm looking forward to this. I've been looking forward to this for a while now, ever since uh, I found out this was happening. Any excuse to go to Victoria, really, right? And I get to stay with uh, Aaron. I get to meet people like Hosnose, and I meet up with friends and uh, new, hopefully, new friends. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's been a weird couple of days, which we'll get into later, but I'm not going to have fun because Victoria is always fun for me. Uh, maybe get some Romeos, maybe, uh, and just hang around downtown and then meet up with Aaron to head to the hockey game and raise money for the Big Brothers and Big Sisters program, which is always a good thing. Let's hope I make fair today. We're just chilling, no rush. Have fun with the day. All right, let's go. Save on Foods. It is looking really cool. This is my first time I've done a stadium this big. So just give you an update on what's been going on. I have a frozen shoulder and calcium buildup in my shoulder, which is causing a tremendous pain. Not right now because I got a lot of painkillers in me, but it limits my mobility. Like this is as high as I can raise my arm and that's on a good day. So I'm depending highly on our handlers and Jonathan happens to be one of our handlers. But take a look at this. Isn't this cool? Look at that. Hey look, it's Hose Nose. Hello, Hose Nose. It's him. It's really him. The hose. <laughs> Goes into the nose. To the nose. First trip in a long time. Six months. Six months for you? Yep. Wow. Well, actually, for, uh, yeah, because you're at the Comox one with me. There we go. Have you ever done a hockey game before? Yeah, I came over for the Canucks one. The Canucks one? Yeah, yeah. That's oh. pretty rad. So what's our goal for today? What's our job? I think we get to shoot t-shirts into the audience. Seriously? No, I don't. <laughs> I was actually really excited. I hope we get to shoot t-shirts into the I don't know. We're just going to entertain the peeps like we always do. Shake hands, kiss babies. Oh boy, wearing a mask. A mask. Oh, you got a mask on your mask. Nicely mask done. Mask. Nicely done. COVID's not over, by the way. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, it's not. So, there we go. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Is this better? Better. Okay. <laughs> It's hose nose. <laughs> you are like so tall. Like I can't reach you. We are here with Jonathan. Say hello, Jonathan. Hello, hello, hello. Jonathan's our handler, but more importantly, Jonathan Trip, though for some people who may not know, the uh, Instagram is Trip. What's the numbers? 473. Trip 473. Now, Trip here, and Jonathan. <laughs> Jonathan donated big time to the uh, stair climb and uh, we knew that we were going to see each other here today so I got something special for you. Give me a second. You need to, you need to the handler's got a candle go into the pocket there. Okay. There's a there's oh. uh, that's not it. There's one little patch there. There is should be another patch in there. There is, yes. And there should be one coin. There's two coins. Don't grab the outer rim rookie coin. Grab the other coin. This one. That one. Ooh, so okay. show, show the audience what you have. That is my John Cena spinner coin. <laughs> open it up, open it up. It's a, it's a Pathfinder's coin because you're working on a Pathfinder's yes, sir. costume. That is true. So this one spins and it's got your costume in there. Let's go. Yeah. It so, totally does. So there you go. So I, show I'm it. working on a uh, patrol trooper. So there you go. So I thought it's very important that you have that coin. You're not getting an outer rim coin yet because you're okay. not a member yet. I'm not. I'm not. But, um, because that's what Jamie told me. But I thought it'd be important you get a Pathfinder 
patch, Pathfinder coin, and a Bible first patch as well, because this is addicting. I, I can <laughs> the tell. The coins are very addicting. I can tell, yeah. So, but I want to thank you very much for donating. I appreciate it very much. No worries, man. Thank you so much. And uh, we're going to be watching you with great interest today because the handling jaw. Like I saw you helping out um, uh, Aaron with his yeah. Boba Fett costume. And uh, so, what do you think your job is today? I'm just curious. Make sure nobody dies. Make sure nobody. <laughs> make sure nobody falls. Make sure people are hydrated. Um, clear, clear the path. I, I want you to look at something here. This guy came freaking prepared. Look at this. <laughs> look at this. He's got bottles of water, glue. What's in here? I what? got a, I got a flashlight just in case if someone couldn't find something in their bin. Yeah. I got um, super glue. I got E6000. I got. Non-residue tape in case someone needed it. <laughs> We've already needed that. We've already needed it. Exacto knife for cutting anything. And needed that already too. I got a, a roll of Velcro. <laughs> and uh, I do take the Velcro. Yeah, and then I got uh, like some snacks and stuff in case anyone. Needs. Oh, you brought the one that brought snacks? Yeah, that was me. This guy's <laughs> gonna get. This guy gets it. I love the water. This is awesome. Yeah, just in case, you never know. Handler extraordinaire, right here. This I is try. awesome. I so, try. how far are you from finishing your costume? I probably, if I really tried, I could do it in like two weeks, yeah. but it's about finding the time and, you know, actually figuring out the proper way to get the CRL correct. Yeah. So, yeah. We're two weeks? Close. I mean, two weeks, like what, the main piece that's left for mine, the cod piece, like yeah. broke in half. Yeah. So I have to re 3D model it and like print it and then finish it and do a whole thing. No. But that's kind of a, a big brain headache, but yeah. we'll we'll get there. Now, this isn't your, this isn't your very first costume though, because you've yeah. been in cosplaying before this. Briefly, yes. Briefly, yeah. So I had I had a bit of a Marty McFly. Yeah, I still have. Yeah. I'm excited that I have that. Yeah. I have a Daredevil, and that's where we first met, actually, because uh, C4. Uh, this wasn't on video, but you came up to me, and this freaked me out because nobody ever, <laughs> nobody freaking watches my show, and uh, except this guy apparently. And I even mentioned you in one of my videos. It was like did. Daredevil. This was Daredevil. This is the guy who saw me out there and actually said hello, and I was yeah. really. Was, and then you started crying, and it was this whole. Well, thing. that was it wasn't because of you. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> But um, yeah, so you've you've daredeviled, you've uh, Marty McFlyed, and now you're gonna you're gonna yeah, patrol trooper, oh. and then maybe a Mando season two Boba Fett, yeah. like the fresh nice. looking one. Yeah. So this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna we're gonna talk after, see how your day went, oh. and uh, hopefully I'm just looking around right now. This is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm very curious to see what happens. Yeah. He's already helped me get into my costume too because <laughs> of my arms. So you've been like, it's like a, you ever seen the movie Nice Tale? No. Oh. I'm on culture. I don't. I'm a tra tragic. Uh, there's a scene where they wrap the Heath Ledger has to be put in his armor and he can't get it in, so they just lash the joust to his arm. That's all Love they do. It. Let's so go. Just lash it to my arm. Uh, we're gonna uh, get ready here and start meeting with people. So let's go.
it, 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 finish the game. It's game over. What was the score? It was six, like six two. Six two. But that's not the point. Uh, how was your day? It was long. It was tiring. My back hurts, but not as much as these guys. Not as much as these guys. It was very fun. Suck up. <laughs> kind of, kind of stressful, you know, with all the random kids running around trying to hit people and stuff. Oh it, yeah, it was very good. You did an awesome job. He was, <laughs> he was killer today. He was. Uh, you're figuring out where we had to go, the elevator, the schedule, when we had to meet, all this sort of stuff. I because I had no idea. I didn't before I came. So. And, and he got so, he got soft drinks for people. He got he had food, everything. He was on top of it. So, sir, with a soft handshake, thank you very much. That was awesome. I tried. He he helped me get dressed. <laughs> it was a, <laughs> that was really important for me today. So um, th and also, boot. This is his phone we're using because my camera died. <laughs> so you were recording everything. So half the footage is yours. Uh, from his camera and half footage from my camera. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You were awesome. No worries. So next, now you gotta get your costume together. See, here's the thing. I just watched your video on all the tips <laughs> to handling. Came prepared. Yeah, what, what can I say? All right, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Enough, enough of him, enough of him. All right, so uh, that's it, I think. Bye, Victoria. All right, more later. Bye. 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 Hey everybody, it is about 3.30 now, Saturday. I'm on my way home, it's a beautiful sunny Saturday. The water's beautiful, the ferry ride's nice and calm. It, ah, this is a great way to end it. Had a wonderful, wonderful trip. Saw my friends again. I was able to stay at Aaron's house. Aaron and Audrey were so hospitable. It's just, they're just wonderful people. Aaron did some wonderful things for me. He had a little sign made up for me uh, for the for the guest room, which was really great. Thank you so much. Before I end it, I want to show you some things that I got uh, today and yesterday. First off, found this it is the Mandalorian Scout Trooper. Carbonized, apparently. I didn't know there was a carbonized thing. I'm reducing my black search because this is almost $50 Canadian. $50 Canadian. I had to get it because I was trooping today and I was in Scout. It was an omen. Although, if you notice, the knee pads are strangely correct which is incorrect for the mandalorian this guy is well way too well dressed for a mandalorian scout trooper but still he is dirty i had to get that i had to get that got romeos <laughs> enough said about that and i got scott uh, his spinnakers got lemon soda and cream soda. He's liking both these right now. Uh, I think he's liking the cream soda a little bit more now. I love the colors of these things. They're great. And there's some other stuff that you don't have to worry about. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with it. But most of all, I got lots of cool memories. This was a great trip. A fun, fun troop. Being able to raise money for the big brothers and sisters. Connecting with the, with the people of the Victoria Royals game. It was like... The crowd was really, really nice. There was very little problem. We were talking about that behind the scenes. Whenever you're trooping, there's always some issues when it comes to certain kids not understanding the boundaries, certain adults not understanding the boundaries, but everybody was so wonderful. I was able to connect with some people. There's a guy dressed up with like this awesome stormtrooper suit. Ah, oh, it was so wonderful. And it was able to connect with people offline as well. Some people visited the game and wanted to reached out to the Outer Rim and wanted to share some of the stuff that their kids were building and uh, and they want to be involved in like something like the 501st and it's really it's really kind of cool you know planting seeds i guess in the end what'd you learn i it's not so much what i learned this time it's what jonathan learned and i know you're watching this jonathan jonathan i think learned a lot when it comes to handling jonathan killed it you killed it jonathan he was doing so well. He came was prepared. He was uh, our go-to when it came to connecting with the people in charge. The, the Victoria Royals organizing team weren't too vocal with us, but uh, Jonathan took charge of that, which was really, that goes beyond what a handler does. Um, he actually took charge in that and he was able to get Chewy down an elevator, which is a big deal. The poor guy was walking upstairs. Darian, dude, I don't know how you did it walking up the stairs in that chewy costume you killed it man jonathan really really helped out he was there supporting 
it was just he did an amazing job so i'm really thankful for um for him not only showing up but being there and and i'm hoping he learns something and uh hopefully he gets you get your costume done soon dude get it done soon we're looking forward to it although part of me doesn't want you to get the costume done just be just be handler <laughs> i think that's a <laughs> car alarm there's there's one behind me and there's one in front of me i'm it's stereo car alarm right now all right we'll just wait for this to end yeah there we go eventually it wears itself out and it'll start up in about five minutes <laughs> get, you can get to the distance i think that's on the other side of the ferry <laughs> anyways i'm gonna just keep talking because i want to wrap this up had a lot of fun i've lost track now the, the car alarms make me lose track of what i'm talking about um so now my job uh, when I get home is to not only edit this video which you're watching but also edit some videos for the Outer Rim Garrison and um, put some stuff on Facebook, uh, job as a PR. Maybe I should do another video as a job as a PR. Uh, I'm learning it myself. I don't know if I'm qualified enough to do a PR video. But some of the responsibilities I have is putting up pictures, making sure that um, the Outer Rim and the Falcon Base get their dues and connect so we can do more events like this and reach out to people who may not be aware of what we do and don't know the difference that um, the Outer Rim Garrison and the Falcon Base are two separate things. So we got a lot of pictures of Chewie being um, Outer Rim Garrison. He's not technically, he's Falcon Base, but he's Star Wars and that's what people know. So I'm going to have to kind of make sure that both are identified separately oh my god <laughs> i didn't want to sleep anyways <laughs> here's a little tip for people riding the ferry turn off your car alarm all right please it just helps everybody thank you for watching thanks for everybody who took participated in the troop thanks for everybody who donated to the big brothers and sisters i'll put a link below if you want to donate and help out um it's all about the donations all about helping others that's the key we'll talk to you next time doing another troop or hopefully something will get going with the Rees costume like subscribe please if you don't i'm gonna have the car alarms go off again that being said have yourself a good day and remember armor is built on hope bye